Recently, I purchased my first Grand Seiko. I purchased the SBGY009. I think this watch is absolutely stunning, but there's one thing that I would like to change. I think the watch needs a bracelet. So just in case you were thinking about adding a bracelet to your watch, let's see how it turned out. Pocket Watch Time. You know I'm a Pocket Watch fan. Welcome to another episode of Pocket Watch Time. My name is Patrick W. I was lucky enough to get my hands on one of the 1500 copies of the SBGY009. This beautiful watch with a wild blue dial comes with a rather attractive blue alligator strap. The problem? I'm just not a big fan of leather straps. So I called up the Grand Seiko online boutique and asked if any of the bracelets were compatible. Since this watch is the 55th anniversary of the 44 GS case, it actually has a pretty standard case shape. It's also a pretty standard 40 millimeters in size. The only issue with this watch is it's actually a pretty thin version of the 44 GS. So the boutique confirmed that in fact they did have a bracelet that they thought would fit with this model. And of course, here it is. Does the bracelet fit? Yes, it does. Does the bracelet fit perfectly? Hmm. Not really. There's a little bit of a jiggle. Does the bracelet look awesome? Absolutely. So as you can see here as I kind of roll my wrist around, there's a little bit of a gapping where the bracelet meets the case. Not really a big deal, and if I didn't point it out, most people probably wouldn't even notice it. But being a little bit of a perfectionist and always paying attention to the details, I might do a little bit of MacGyvering to see if I can get this case and this bracelet to fit together just a little bit better. I'll keep you posted. But as you can see, the 44 GS case looks amazing on a bracelet. Don't get me wrong, it looks pretty amazing on a strap too. And I may get another strap that isn't leather, but for now, I'm definitely going to wear it on the new bracelet. So what do you think? Do you think the bracelet's a worthy upgrade? Do you prefer it on the bracelet? Or do you prefer it on the original alligator strap? What other strap options do you think would look good on this watch? If you're new to my channel, please subscribe to Pocket Watch Time. I have lots of reviews both on watches and on pocket watches. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.